Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors. Today is May 17th of 2021. It's early in the morning. It's a nice cloudy day, a good day for planting your bonsai trees and for letting the roots grow. Today we're going to, it's uh, right now it's 55 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, 13 degrees Celsius. Today we're going to do some updates on my survivors and my seedlings. First, I'm going to show you the olive tree forest that I planted yesterday. It had been, I wish I could have did it on the video, but it would have taken too long and I have no way to edit it or make it shorter. But this is, this is what you can do with a little old railroad uh, caboose. And if you can see over here, all I did was take from a, a corn broom, I cut the stalks and made it look like an old wheat field that the little guy harvested and that's his house, his little caboose there. And, and with the uh, torpedo sand mixed with uh, peat moss, you can see how the field is gravelly like. It's not like a pure field, but most fields have rocks in it, so it gives it a good authentic look. So let me put this down over here. And then we'll go to our crab apples. Now this I planted in uh, June of 2020. It was a free uh, seedlings from uh, the Arbor Day Foundation. All I gotta do is clip it back a little bit so it bushes out. And this is another seedling. This was grown in about May of 2020. This is also a seedling from uh, the Arbor Day Foundation, but you can see in the root maker's pot the difference in the trunk and how it's growing. So I know I'm gonna have to cut some of the stuff off, so I'll do that in another video so you can see how, it, how I do it and we can see how the roots are growing from a root maker pot. Now if you remember from the children's corner, we were doing crab apple seeds. Okay, here's one coming up in my little pot. And so far, two out of three are coming up in my little, uh, what you call it. <laughs> it's one of them sauce pots that you find in the stores or any place else. Just drill a hole in it, put a little screen there, and you got it. Now, for my, uh, I have my olive tree cuttings are over here from my forest. This is what I did, and all I used was cocoa core and stuck them. So we'll see how it is. Use an old popsicle stick with a date on it so you know when I did it. And let's see if they grow. You never can tell. It doesn't hurt to try. Okay, and this is my other olive tree that I stuck on March 25th of 2021. Now it was growing good until I put it outside. So it looks a little ragged. So with these cloudy days, it should hopefully recover. So we'll check on it and keep it going. But I know it rooted because you can't a little tug and it won't come out. So hopefully, hopefully it'll survive. Now, if you go to the farmer's market or anything else of that their nature, they're, they're giving away uh, pin oaks or oak trees. Grab one. Here's mine. I think it's late in the season, but let me hold it up so you can see it better. And you can see the leaves just starting to grow. Now this pin oak was grown in... Uh, 2019, the spring, that's when I got it at the farmer's market when they first opened up and they were giving them away. And all I did was put it in a good potting soil with perlite, put some rocks and I put some moss on top to keep the roots from drying out because all this is is a cheap pot that I got at Michael's. It's a little tray pot for, uh, I think they were, I got them down to like 50 cents when they were finally getting rid of them. But you can see the nice trunk on there. And the taproot on this thing was about so long, it was twice the size of the tree. So I cut it, and this is its, uh, next, let's see, one, two, this is about its third spring. And it's growing good, so, so far so good. 
So if my friend Jerry, if you're listening and you got your pin oak that you want to give me, bring it on down and I'll show the people how to make a pin oak tree bonsai. But it's real nice. It's not hard to do. All you got to do is remember to water it. Give it some moss for a forest floor. But I'll fix it up later when I get time and we'll put it together and see how it works. And then we'll also do our crab apple. And don't be afraid to get a little, little something. Now the pot don't have to be like this. You can set it like this or any way you want it just so you can show off your little landscape but you're keeping it simple keeping it you don't have to make it gaudy you don't have to put all kinds of moss in there for grass or anything just keep it simple here's the back end of it and you can see with the torpedo sand the little rocks that it that it has in it and it gives it an authentic uh, soil looking like like you see out in the fields with rocks and just uh, the clumps of soil ground up and everything I think it looks pretty good just my opinion but it's something to do and you can also do it for the kids the the car and the track I put on styrofoam it's buried into the into the soil and it keeps the, the track is put in with the paper clips I just cut them and make like uh, round nails to put them in and then just glue the wheels of the caboose onto the track and you got it so don't be afraid to try uh, bonsai is easy okay I don't have big giant plants that everybody can see but this is for for those of you that have got arthritis or you're young and you want to see your trees grow from scratch that's the best way to do it and you got you can grow mini bonsai just by putting a, a crab apple seed in there so today so uh, give it a try it doesn't have to be fancy just keep it plain keep it simple this I'll clean up and after maybe we'll do a cleanup uh, video on it once the leaves start to come out and we'll fix it up a little bit I'm not going to repot it because there's no roots coming out of the pot yet so we're going to keep it in there so don't be afraid to give it a try cloudy days uh, early morning early evening or late evening is the best time to do your bonsais because it gives a chance for the roots to once they're into the pot to rest and they're not into that grueling sun and then cloudy days is very good because it's damp it's nice and the trees will grow nice so today's monday night uh good old time radio shows bring yourself up a cup of tea sit down relax to suspense dragnet with jack webb uh holmes and watson mystery house or the old series called the fbi <laughs> So you take everybody, take care of everybody, and welcome to, to Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors. I thank you for coming, and I thank you for those of you who have subscribed to my channel. I thank you so very, very much. You take care of everybody, and have a nice rest of the day. And just because it's cloudy, that doesn't mean you can't do your work. You take care.